Okay, so my office bought these uh, DJI Phantom 4 Pro V2s. Uh, these are the Obsidian covers. Um, and we got the, the remote with the screen built in. Now, the problem with the screen built in is it doesn't let you run any apps you need. And because we bought these primarily for mapping, uh, obviously we, we want to run uh, Pix4D or Drone Deploy or something like that. So I spent uh, quite a few hours trying to work out if it's possible to install Pix4D onto these devices. And most of the internet knowledge uh, says you could on the V1, uh, but on the V2 it's impossible. But happily, I found a way. Uh, so before we start, we've got to enable developer options. So if you swipe down from the top and you click on settings, uh, you can go to about device. And right at the bottom, you'll see security ver system version. You just keep clicking on that, and it says, now you're a developer. You can go and check, and developer options is enabled. Uh, USB debugging is enabled. So now you're good to go. So let's wait for things to boot up. Uh, while we boot up, I can, uh, can tell you what to download. Um, there's four files you need. Um, like, actually, you don't need all four of these files. Uh, ADB Setup 143 is the version of ADB I used. Um, I installed Terminal just because I like Terminal. Uh, all applications. And then, obviously, to run Pix4D, you need to download the Pix4D and Control Plus. Um, I've renamed my files just to make them a lot easier to find. Uh, if you can see on my device there, there's Control Plus and there's Pix4D, and it all works perfectly. Anyway, let's go back out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hard reset this device. Um, maybe what I'll do first is just show you that I am running the latest firmware. Um, let's go and see about device. So there's the kernel version, the system version, 1.21, it's the GL300E. Uh, okay, let's go back and do a hard reset. Factory data reset, reset device, erase everything. Um, I'll have the links for, for the download files in the description. Okay, so while this thing does its job, we'll go to the, the first bit, which you do on the PC anyway. So if you've downloaded the ADB setup, you want to double click on it. Okay, you can approve all the options. Uh, first question is, do you want to install ADB and Fastboot? You say yes and enter. Do you want to install ADB system wide? Again, yes and enter. Then it asks if you want to install the dri device drivers, and again we do. Yes, enter. Okay, welcome to Wizard, install, finish, and we're done. Okay, that's great. So the PC is ready to talk to the drones. I'm just going to plug in this USB cable. Okay, let's start using the device. So I've got to agree over there. I've got to sign in. Just pull this behind the screen. So I forgot before we sign in, you obviously need to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So let's go and connect to one of those quickly. Let's sort of speed through this a bit if it takes too long. Okay, so we're connected. Sign in. <laughs> That's always fun there. Okay. Okay, great, so we've signed in. Uh, so now there should be no other apps installed. And as you can see, there's nothing installed besides the, the default apps. Okay, so when you install ADB, it'll create a ADB folder 
on your C drive. Let's just go find that C drive. And it's got four files in it, ADB, ADB Win API, etc. Um, now what you want to go and do is copy the APKs you want to install into that ADB folder. Okay. And then we're going to turn off the device. I'm going to plug in my little USB cable. Okay. Now what it seems like is that uh, when you initially turn on the remote, it doesn't actually check whether the apps you're trying to push onto it are official DJI apps or not. So if I had the app on and I tried to install it, it wouldn't work. Uh, so somebody figured out a way to install very small apps that if you turn it on quickly, uh, you can run an ADB install file. But that didn't work for anything over 20 gigs, and uh, Control Plus is well over 20 gigs. It's 66 gigs. So I found a way to to install using, uh, by first copying the files to the device and then installing from the device, so there's no long delay in the copying. So that's what we're going to run through right now. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to go and grab the first command. I'll do PICT4D first. Uh, again, these commands will be in the description. So now what you do is you turn on the device, you wait to hear your computer beep, that means it's working, and you very quickly hit enter. Ah, actually this part we don't need to be quick for. So we're going to push the files to the device first. And let's go and push them both while we're here, save us a bit of time. Yeah, the first file is pushed. And as you can see, this takes long, which is why it wouldn't work automatically. Um, it looks like the second file is pushed. Now we're going to turn off again. Okay, let's go and install Pix4D. Okay, and wait as soon as you hear the beep, and then you're going to hit enter. Ah. Success. Okay, so that's the Pix4D app. Um, I'll show you quickly what happens if you don't give it enough time. Uh, Clyde, grab the handset. All right, so if you try and install it directly, um, let's go have a look. You should get a failure message. Now, this kind of upsets me because uh, DJI is making a device and they're trying to hamstring it, which is, uh, you know, something they shouldn't be doing. Anyway, with the trick to get around it, just turn off again, be ready to go. And as soon as we hear the beep, we're going to hit enter. Success! We're done. Now if you look at all applications, you've got both of them there. Now, one of the other strange things is it doesn't seem to pick up the drone if you just go into Pix4D. Sorry, actually into Control Plus. Let me just go back. I'll need to sign into Pix4D for the first time. Da -da -da.
Okay, let me just go home. So the big problem is if you go straight to comp control plus, even with a join on, it just doesn't connect. But there's a solution for that too. Uh, so there's a USB port on the back of the device. <laughs> and you basically take it from the one USB out into the other. You can go home for that. And it says, would you allow, like to allow Control Plus? And we'll say, yeah, that sounds great. Control Plus, just once. Don't select always, because if you select always, it doesn't work. Okay, and as you can see, oh, you can't really see, um, a bit closer, it's connected. And I've done a test, I've, I've flown two mapping flights with it already, and it seems to work great. I'm indoors at the moment, so it might not capture my GPS location. Let's switch back and see. Yeah, it still thinks I'm in the middle of the ocean. Um, but if I went outside, it would eventually work. And as you've seen before, you can shrink it, you can zoom it, you can rotate it. And it works. It works perfectly. So I don't know why DJI stops you from doing it, because I think it's great. Um, if you'd like to see me install any other applications, I've already installed, well previously I've installed ES File Explorer when I wanted to do some stuff in the background. I've installed a terminal client, um, I've installed the Amazon App Store, I haven't tried the Google Play Store yet but I'm sure I can manage that too. So if you'd like to see anything else just let me know, otherwise I hope this has been useful. Ciao.